just is me. Ow! I love it. A moment. This is very big. And I'm denim from Shein, like. Couldn't not buy. After leisure set, went a little bit conservative, a little bit. Guys, there's one more thing from Fashion Nova. I thought we was moving on. Ah, is this just not me? Ah! <laughs> Hello, guys, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is so, so weird. Um, hi. Oh my gosh. I have not sat down. Wait, hold on. I cannot believe I'm finally sitting down to do a haul. A huge collective clothing haul. How have you guys been? I hope you guys have been doing well. If you guys have been staying tuned, then you've seen the vlogs to know where I've been at. And I needed to put a pause on that little series just so we could catch up on where my closet has been at y'all. Or not even yet, because most of these things have not been worn and I've been keeping them tucked so that I can properly do a collective try on clothing haul. We have Fashion Nova, we have Shein, we have Zara, we have Target. We have a lot of things happening here, okay? I guess I'm going to start off with the one-off items that I've had, and then we'll get into the stores that I did like many different pieces, right? In no particular order, let's just get into it and see where my closet has been at, cause ciao. I'm interested for you guys to see as well. This bag, does this bag look crazy? It probably does. Let's start off with one of the most exciting purchases that I made within, okay, this ranges from like the past maybe two or three months, okay? So this bag, this bag, that gives it away. Ah, I got my first coach bag. If you saw my last video, then you know already, girl. This is the bag that I got. You guys know I've been interested in getting a coach bag for a long time. I went to Woodbury Commons and they have a coach outlet. And this is one of the bags that they had there. I don't know. I know I was interested in like the tabbies and the more like newer style coach appearance bags, if you get what I'm saying. But something about this bag just gave. I don't know if it's the red on brown. Like everything about this bag was me. Um, the brown just, it just feels vintage. It feels classic. It feels old school um it feels warm i like the brown logo i don't know what they call this maybe their classic canvas i think it's called and the the pop of red just gave to me because i'm always wearing black as we all know um and i feel like red complements black so well and it's just easy to style red in my opinion and let's not forget the hardware on this bag is silver and it's chunky <laughs> It's chunky, you guys know. You guys know already, child. So I got this bag and I got it for an amazing price. It was probably a hundred and something dollars in that area. I know it wasn't more than $200. And that bag also comes with a strap. And this strap, you could easily just clamp it on and attach it to make the bag crossbody and I don't know, it's just perfect. It's over the shoulder, it has the perfect amount of room for like someone with a bigger arm as of me. So as of me, <laughs> so, yes, I don't know. This bag was just perfect. And then I got a wallet to match, don't mind the sweats. I, ah, I love this wallet. It's cute, it's cozy. It's like, let me pop this in my bag. Let me, hold on, how much do you say? Okay, let me just get that for you real quick. Like, I don't know, and it's also in this brown classic canvas. The hardware is gold on this, but I don't know, it complements it well on this little cute little wallet. I really do like it. So I'm so excited with my purchases that I made over at Coach, and I will be making more in the near future. Ah! Okay, on to the next one. Oh, guys, I forgot to show you guys. Let me just throw in. In, the, in my time away, it was my birthday. You guys know Nicole, as a birthday gift, she sent me this bag. I forgot to tell you guys. You guys saw me also try on this bag when I went to coach. I just took off some of the um, 
wrapping because I literally have not touched this bag since I got it. But um, the red one I did wear. She sent me this as a birthday gift because she knew I wanted it. So um, the, the hard run, this is silver, of course. Do I know how I'm going to style this one? I don't know. You guys may have seen me try this one on and it is quite small. So I feel like it's just going to be perfect for just like a little like, you know, cute little let me carry this in my hand. Not really a over the shoulder because what, where is it? You know, hey, it's a little small. Now, another accessory. Guys, you might love it, you might hate it. Me, I'm obsessed. I got these shoes from Target, actually. Like, I had my eye on these shoes for a while. I went to Target for some pillows, and I accidentally stumbled across these shoes. And I'm like, wow. And they were the same price, if not a dollar less, than um, online where I saw them at. So, guys. What do you guys think about these? Like, be honest, cause my mom definitely has been and she hates them, but I love them. So I got these ballet flats. You guys know the ballet flat trend. If you don't, ballet flats are back, but they're back with a vengeance because they have all these different type of styles and patterns of ballet flats now. They have like the netting, like the fishnet style, um, the see-through style and the studded and I just felt like these were I don't know there's just something about them like they're different but not too different I don't know how to explain my liking for these you guys know I'm not really always but I can't lie I am getting into heels but we'll save that for later <laughs> Stay tuned, this is gonna be a long haul. I don't know, you guys know. Like, look, what can I say? I like them, they're different, they're edgy, but they're still like simple, like they're black and silver, but they're like that pop that a basic outfit might need. So I just thought like to get them and they were $39, so I'm like, you know, why not? This is very interesting, random random moment random moment but guys i invested and i got a vlog camera yeah! this is the first you guys are finding out about this but i did invest and get a vlog camera this is very big for me because i've been talking about getting a vlog camera for the longest time ever and i finally got one so i got the sony zv1f vlog camera in white from best buy i did go to get the black but the guy convinced me to get the white i have not started using it yet but i mean i've been vlogging as you guys know i have not started using this camera yet but i am so excited to start vlogging with this i just feel like it's so cute and it's portable and it's small so you guys know you guys will be coming everywhere with me now on like a bigger background so for the last one off item um it is a piece of clothing so this will be perfect to get us into the rest of the haul which is all clothes so i got this from zara this is just a simple top i do already own this top in black and it's great quality i love the cut of it i love how it looks on and it's just a basic piece that i can wear and rewear and restyle and reuse and reduce and make the environment better i got this beige mock neck tank top i love it the quality is great these are pretty thick but yet light at the same time so you can layer them you can wear them in the summer you can wear them in the fall um probably won't pull this out in winter but i just love the cut of this shirt it fits really well and it's very flattering got this one in a size large and it's only 12 dollars and 90 cents and it's not cropped like it's a full length tank but you could always scrunch it up and make it cropped if you want i don't know i just love these they have like white pink black and beige i believe so now i have the beige and the black so let's get into fashion nova i'm very excited for the pieces i got over at fashion nova they i'm sorry you guys know i'm i'm always in this constant journey of leveling up my style and my fashion and always i'm always looking to 
improve the way I dress. So one thing I cannot let go of though is Fashion Nova. Like even though it's considered fast fashion, their stuff fits. Their stuff fits and it fits well for the most part. You're always gonna have those pieces that you know, <laughs> but for the most part their stuff fits, it stretches, it's cute, it's comfortable, and for the most part it's affordable. Um, and there's not really any other place that like has fast fashion that is still not too fast. You know what I mean in terms of looks and trend. Let's do Fashion Nova. So I have a lot, a lot of stuff from Fashion Nova. I ordered maybe twice or three times in the last two or three months. The first thing that I'm seeing here are the leisure pants. They're pretty thick and great quality and they fit well, they were having a lot of sales, like 50% off, 40% off. So I felt like I just needed to grab one of these because it's always good to have some sort of athleisure loungewear. And this is wide leg, which is my favorite leg of them all. It's super stretchy, it's super cute because it's just black and you guys know how I feel about black already. I'm starting to realize like I kind of want cuter bummy clothes, if you know what I mean. Like when you're trying to look like just bummy, when you're trying to look like regular, running to the store, I still want to look cute in that moment, in those moments, in all moments. So I got this um, to hopefully level up that genre and you know, it looks good. I like the way it fits. I was shopping with comfort and fall in mind during this trip. So there are a lot of sweats and like fall style clothes. So I got this pair of sweatpants. Now these are gray. Ooh, they look purple on camera, but they're way more gray in person. They're just that sweatpant that has like texture on the stitching um, and it just shows up like more. And I don't know, I like this type of acid wash, chunky kind of sweatpants feel. I like that the waistband is very detailed. I kind of like that on my sweatpants. These sweatpants are wide leg as well. So I got these and I'm starting to think I can size down a little in Fashion Nova because their stuff does run pretty big for the items that I usually tend to buy. Got this one in a 1X and they have pockets as they need to. I just love an acid wash sweatpant look so I picked those up. I also got this matching sweatpants and zip up hoodie sweatsuit, I guess, two piece set. So the sweatpants also have that chunky band that I was telling you guys about. It does not have pockets, but that's okay because it's cute. Um, It's wide leg as well. It also has a drawstring and it comes with a matching cropped hoodie. Love. Ah! It's giving airport, it's giving I'm put together but I'm still comfy, but I'm still cute. It's giving let's go shopping, I don't know. I really do like it. It has a hoodie as well and the sleeves are nice and long and it does have a little bit of that acid wash detailing. It is cropped as I mentioned and it does have that like raw cut look at the bottom. I don't know, I just thought this was cute. It's essential, it's thick, it's good quality and I feel like I'm actually not gonna wear this a lot because this is one of my cuter sweatsuits. So I'll probably save this for like travel shop and stuff like that. And staying with the casual theme, I got this graphic tee that is also acid wash. I don't know what's going on but it's dark gray. It's really cute and I don't know what it says but it's okay, cause the back, ah, I feel like the back is so cute and different. Like the different fonts really got me. I got this one a little bit oversized as well, so it could just be like a cute casual vibe. Um, and you always need some good graphic tees. I will never give up graphic tees as much as I wanna level up. I'm sorry, I'm a graphic tee and sweats girl at heart. Out for the stuff that I most recently got from Fashion Nova that is a little bit more dressy more so going out i had that in mind this time around when shopping the first item that i'm pulling out is this really nice quality cardigan it's not necessarily a cardigan that you would wear over something it's kind of like a cardigan style top but it only has three buttons in the front and then it splits 
open it's semi long not too long like it's still like obviously a shirt and it's a long sleeve but you can really like can visibly see that this is great quality for fashion nova like it's heavy it's feels like knit and well made i'm not sure how i will style this just because of how it lays like when it splits open i don't really know like what style pant i feel like something baggy might like look good with this i'm i'm it's gonna be hard to style it okay but it was definitely my style top so i got it and i'm super excited to pull this out in winter not really fall because the dark and the uh, and the long sleeves and the it's giving a winter so i'm excited to wear that this winter to keep it in the cardigan top family well-made family i got this I don't know what it is like this style knit is in I don't know what to call it I don't know the name of it but this like gray black style knitting is in I've seen it in several different stores in several different styles for kids for women for men all of it so I wanted to you know partake in the festivities so I got this which is kind of like a cropped cardigan i'll be wearing it as a top and it was worn as a top on the model as well so i don't know i like it this is also that like heavy chunky knit material the sleeves are long enough for me and they kind of like split open towards the the wrist so i like that detailing and you could definitely size down in this if you are looking to get it because it does run a little looser i wish this was like a little bit more tight fitting but i think it's also the material that's like you know this is definitely giving a dress up to me night out dinner so i'm excited to wear this in the fall this is pink oh i remember what this is guys this is too cute there is this louis vuitton bag that i have my mind on. it would look perfect with this so you know hey this set just is me I love it. I love this set. This is also like athleisure lounge. I will say I do dress a little bit conservative a little bit in a way, but this is like tight fitting and I would be kind of nervous a little bit to wear this in public, but I'm gonna wear it because it's cute and I want to start wearing like, you know, a little bit more revealing clothing. But, so this matching set is like this pink fuchsia color so cute it's wide leg as well and it just looks like kind of the shape of like an athleisure pant but it's mixed because it's kind of like a sweatpants as well runs high-waisted perfect length and it comes with this matching zip up tight hoodie that resembles like a bbl jacket to me so it comes with a hood it's long sleeve it has a zipper the detailing on the zipper is like a little rusted so i kind of like that feel i just love this set i love how it fits i love how it looks on i love the color i love that it's casual i just it would look perfect like where's my bag i do have this bag that i went out with the other night like you <laughs> Guys, there's one more thing from Fashion Nova. I thought we was moving on. Is this just not me? And is this not just like so different? This is what I'm saying like, yes, we know. But you gotta give them a little bit of credit where it's due. This shirt is also that kind of like thick quality but it's not as thick as the other two and it has this like gradient feel of like gray to black the neck area is not like a regular round neck it has that like fringe detailing and the sleeves also have it and they're super long it's super cute it fits well it's stretchy like i don't know this is really different to me and i feel like on a night out like dinner then club or dinner then lounge this might like really eat like you can make this really edgy street style vibes or you can make this like dressed up heels you know i do really like that top now let's get into surprise surprise h m and if you know you know over at h m they've been having 
just really cute essential pieces really cute basics for like outfit type things haven't really been seeing anything but guys do you know what i did see do you know what i did see that i had to buy could not buy couldn't pass it up i saw these and i said you know what Future me will be very happy that I bought these current, you know, we're working on her, but A moment a moment a moment for the cheetah girl <laughs> Look at these heels Can we be so serious right now? I saw these pointed toe kitten heel cheetah print shoes at H&M. They are sling back. Um, so easy to put on, easy to take off, hopefully easy to walk in. I have not worn these as of yet. I did size up. I am typically an eight and a half, but I think my foot is starting to grow and I might be a nine child. But let's just keep that between you. But well, ain't nothing wrong with a nine, but hey. Um, yeah. So I got these shoes. I feel like you guys know cheetah print is in for the fall, winter cheetah print, but they're still subtle. Ah! Just imagine like a wide leg black pant. Cheetah just like popping out. So cute. It looks really good on the foot. I wore heels the last, not last night, the night before. Went to dinner with my friends, obviously vlogged it. You guys will see, longest time I've ever worn heels outside and I must say, a pain. But the more you do it, I think the better you'll get at wearing heels and everything in life. So I'm going to wear heels more. Like I'm going to buy more heels and wear them more because I kind of like the feeling of like, yeah, I'm wearing heels, like I'm a girl, like what happened? So got these. Um, and I'm super excited to wear them. Everything else is mainly clothes. Last accessory from H&M that I saw was this scarf. Now these scarves, I know people sometimes sometimes use them as like detailing on handbags, but I've also seen the girls who wear scarves as like head wraps, but not like the typical head wrap, kind of like this. And this scarf had the perfect detailing for that. Like, are we serious? It's tan, it's black. This is obviously not how I would style it. Um, but I just felt like the pattern of this was the perfect pop for like that head scarf wrap accessory style. It was $9.99. Now onto the basic style items that I got. I got a lot of like two of the same stuff. And guys, this is also like over a long period of time, as I mentioned. I have well-fitting tank tops, so I got a couple. I got this black one. It's like ribbed and it's thin strapped, fits well, looks good on. I got it in black and I also got it in white. So I got those and it literally was on sale for like $3 when I got them. I also got these bodysuits. Now, this bodysuit I got in black. I just love the fit of it. It fits like a normal tank top, but it's like a bodysuit and it has that bodysuit material, but it looks good. Like sometimes this kind of type silicone style bodysuit material might come off tacky but this one looked really nice on so i got it in black also got it in blue and this blue is kind of similar to the shirt that i'm wearing but it's more like muted so i feel like this will look really good honestly any season sticking to the blue family i also got this tank top i don't know why it reminded me of like the loewe white tank top with the little black but it's just like blue and it has that kind of like knit style detailing on the arms and it's still like that rib tank top feel um but it just added something like this like knit look kind of made it a little bit more polished if you will, for a tank top. And I liked this color. And lastly, for tank tops, I already own this, but I just re-upped because it was on sale for like $3. Um, and it's just this black soul style tank top. Love these for like a quick sweatpants tank top look. 
amazing. This next item is a little out there, a little different, but this was also on sale, so I got it, and it was like, what, on sale for like five dollars? Um, you know, and you should always have something in your closet for every occasion, if you will. I got this, and it's giving very much New Year's Eve. It's giving Happy New Year, Happy 2025, if you will. It's black and off the shoulder, long sleeve bodysuit, and it has this silver speck detailing all throughout the suit. It's not, maybe it is tacky. What do you guys think? I like it. It really gives shimmery New Year vibes, but I also feel like on a regular like night out, if it's the right event and spot, lounge club venue, this might work. Like it's not too much, it's not like sequins, you know? So I'm excited to see whenever I do actually wear this, if that happens, hopefully it does. But if not, it's okay, it was $5. So the last thing that I got from H&M are these pants. <sighs> Story time. The birthday that I had two years ago, I wore this like all black outfit. The top was from NAKD and the pants were from H&M online, but I it's like old H&M. So I don't think I will ever be able to find the same pair of pants. But when I tell you they were the most perfect, like tight fitting, but wide leg, but straight. Ah, they were perfect. Leg was straight yet wide. It was the perfect fit. It wasn't too thick um, and you could dress it up and dress it down. It was like the perfect pair of pants for me um, and I wore them to the ground. There were holes that then appeared in the inner thigh. So had to retire those. I was literally gonna look for somebody to sew them together but my mom said no. And when she says no, give it up. Hey, maybe I should really give it up. So I gave it up, but I did come across these. Now these are basically essentially the same pants, but these are a little thicker, okay? They're thicker, they're heavier, but they have the same fit. So they, they'll do. So I got them and they're just simple throw on black pants. Um, they're super stretchy and you know H&M clothing, like you could size down in that for sure. Pants were only like $14. So I'm like, let me just get them in place of my favorite pants that I ever owned. It's a good replacement because it's essentially the same thing. It's just a little bit heavier. So, which might be better because I don't think no holes will appear in this one. Fingers crossed. That's it. For H&M, um, and lastly, oh, that's a lie. I have this little bag from Victoria's Secret that's just been sitting there. I did get like a whole bunch of new undergarments when they were having like a super big semi-annual sale. If you guys saw my last vlog, then you know about that. But what I forgot to show was I got these two new body products. Now I am starting to get into like perfumes and stuff like that more. If you guys have noticed, like I'm not really into that that much, but I'm starting to like, you know, invest in my collection. As she's holding, what, $10 Victoria's Secret. <laughs> but you know what I mean, the more the merrier. So I got these two items during their semi-annual sale. I got this comforting body wash. It is in the scent Vanilla. The aesthetics of the packaging is really, really cute and it smells really good as well. So I'm excited to have this in my bathroom. Um, something just to switch up the Dr. Bronner's that I'm constantly using. I feel like this was just like a cute little body wash to have. I got this perfume in Island Rush. Now, it's like a fragrance mist, not a perfume, but it smells so good. Like it's sweet, yet it's subtle at the same time. I feel like this would pair really well with a vanilla scent because it is kind of in that sweet, gourmet type of style, um, type of scent, family. But, I must say, fragrance mist, body splash, stuff like that is just as important as perfume because not every day will I be spraying out expensive perfume. And not every day you want that type of rich scent. You kind of need like a light fragrance mist, body splash, for when you're just running outside, like, no, nobody can um, sway me off that. So, 
to, to keep my fragrance mist um, collection growing, I did get this one and I do really, really like it. Finally, at the last store that I have to show you guys and that is Shein. Um, even though I was on a little hiatus, I was still checking my emails and whatnot and they were kind enough to keep me on the list child. So this portion was sent by Shein. So I thank Shein for always keeping me in contact. Um, so yeah, so let's get into the stuff that I got from Shein. So this Shein order was placed a little bit towards like maybe mid early August. So the stuff for this portion is a little bit summery, but that's okay. But the first thing I got was an accessory. I have two bags from Shein that are very, very cute. So this one, it does look a little bit crushed and that's because I wore it several times since getting it already. I just love stuff that have unique printing and detailing but are still neutral and can complement any outfit. So this bag is definitely that. It's this black and white zebra print little mini hand shoulder bag. I do carry it as a shoulder bag. Like just look at how well that complements this shirt and it's blue. Like I feel like this could be paired with anything and it's just that extra pop detailing adding of like a different type of dimension to your outfit the hardware is gold i'm okay with that it looks great i love it i've worn it several times and i can't wait to continue to wear it into the fall winter season so i got this bag once i started to see like the the charming and the decorating of bags were like a thing now look at this uh, like, isn't this cute? I like it. It's different. It's like a, like this shape and the Louis Vuitton bag that I was telling you guys about is actually this like barrel shape. I love it. It's very girly. It's very fun. It has like these long straps that make it perfect for her arm like mine. And it has that barrel shape so it's different. And then it has these bow tie detailings like in the front which is super cute and this would like some of the bag charms that are out now i don't have any but i will be ordering some off amazon i can't like imagine how cute this will be like just with the outfit that is it for accessories from shein and now on to clothes i have a few more items to show you guys so let's get into it the first thing i got you guys will be so shocked i got a dress and it looks really good on if you ask me this is actually perfect for fall winter let me sit back so you guys can see it it's this black and white detailed dress one shoulder it is super short so Whenever I wear this, whenever I wear this, I will have to keep an eye on myself. But it's super short, but I love it. So it's this knit material, so that makes it perfect for fall, winter. It's not like thin, it's like sweater-like material. And it aids in the appearance of the quality of this. Like it definitely looks higher quality. I love this dress on, I love the way it fits. It's pretty flattering, so. I can't wait to wear this. I don't know like when I ever would. Yeah, so, ah, so excited about that dress. This next item is also a little um, risque, if you will. I don't know when I would wear this either, but it's cute on, so I kept it, and it was cute on the model, so I ordered it. And it's this tank top that is beige and has this like wiring, peekaboo down the front it is pretty revealing yet still like not so much i don't know i feel like this was like leather black pants tight going somewhere clubby because on a regular day maybe not maybe on like a vacation or something i don't know but this is really cute um so i got it and i like how the string like doesn't have to be tied it's not like or it's not like set like the string can fall it's different for me so i picked it up next thing i got from shein are these pants 
that are also different because of the wash, but I've seen a couple of pants like this, like on different websites. This kind of greenish denim wash, I don't know. I like it, I feel like it's different and it's cute. These jeans are a little bit more baggy and kind of soft, like they're not like regular denim. It's kind of like a softer denim, but it still has the structure of like regular jeans, which I like. As you can see, the waist is elastic, so, I will be enjoying that because you guys know I'm not all the way 100% into denim. I am a sweats girl and this has the feel of sweatpants but not entirely so. Super cute, wide leg. Cannot wait to wear these and maybe dress them up. But I've gotten denim from Shein like once or twice before and it wasn't my favorite. But these are really, really nice so I really do like that. I also got this midi length black skirt because you guys know it was still summer when I purchased these items purchased when I was sent these items it's different but I feel like it's gonna be a good throw on whenever it starts to get warm it's black it does have this kind of boho like feel to it and just like this lining down the skirt the length is something i'll have to get used to but i think this is good to have in my closet for when you want to be casual but not like pants you know still like girly and cute i got a black top that's very similar well clearly when i like something i have to overdo it this is just like the top that i got from zara but it's black um but the shape is different so it's like kind of v v style shape towards the bottom and it has this rouging on the sides and it does have like a ribbed look not feel but it is mock neck and i like the same silhouette as that zara top so i got this as well i got this athleisure set which does not fit my my favorite does not fit my favorite but i do like the color so i might I am going to keep it actually, but it's this brown, also wide leg athleisure set. It comes with a matching sports bra type bralette. And I thought this brown color would be perfect for fall. But the only thing is this like detailing on the leg. It kind of like falls at a weird angle or at a weird point on my leg. So I don't know what I'll do with this. Maybe this will be like in the house trying to look cute while I'm doing stuff at home. But as far as like working out, absolutely not. Or like outside, we'll see. Okay guys, so that is basically it for today's huge collective try on haul. What do you guys think? How did you guys enjoy today's video? If you did, please let me know and leave a comment down below. I'm so excited that I'm back on YouTube and I'm back to it and be back to trying on clothes and being girls and just having fun and living life. So if you guys can kindly comment um, so we can talk about it in the comments, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok and subscribe for more content from me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.